Hello, and welcome to day 15 of the 15-day meditation challenge presented to you by Chokor Samling, the FPMT Center in Bangalore, India. My name is Tenzin Namjong, and congratulations for making it this far. Let's begin with the session. So first, uh, please adjust your motivation, thinking that you're here to meditate so that you can build your inner qualities so that you can become of more benefit to both yourself and others. And then we get into a comfortable meditation posture. So again, just making sure your back is straight, whether you are sitting on a chair, sitting on the floor, even uh, lying down. And then we take a few moments as usual to bring our awareness back into our bodies, the tactile sensations. So we can ask ourselves, how do we know right now that we're sitting? What are the clues that our body is giving us? And when we focus in on those tactile sensations, which are only in the present moment, then we allow ourselves to let go of the discursive thoughts that think about the future or reminisce about the past. Now, continuing on, we do a quick body scan from head to toe trying to identify any pockets of tension, especially pay attention to the facial muscles, make sure they're not clenched or flexed, and then go down through the rest of your body at your own pace. And now, since it's the last session, we will be doing a metta meditation at the end. But even when we do metta practice, then we start in the usual way with taking a few minutes to focus on the breath. This brings some mental stability and calmness. So now as we progress through the various days in the challenge, we started with focusing on the whole range of sensations as we breathe. Then we narrowed it down to the rising and falling of the abdomen. And then finally, we concentrate on the space around our nostrils in the upper lip area. So just place your mind's attention there and observe the natural breath flow in and out. Notice what kind of sensations manifest in the body. Again, no chattering, no commenting. Just bear awareness.
Okay, so now we can continue with the metta practice or loving kindness practice. I think a few of the other meditation leaders have introduced this practice. So just remaining in this state of calmness and attention. Whereas in the mindfulness of breath meditation, we were just focusing on the, the natural breath. Here we're actually trying to evoke these feelings of loving kindness, the wish that ourselves or others have happiness, peace, contentment. So first we take a moment just to think about what our ideal life would be. What that version of happiness would look like for us. And now when you have that, that vision of happiness and well-being for yourself, then just gently uh, think how wonderful it would be if you were able to have that level of happiness, contentment, peace. Here you can use whatever phrases are meaningful to you so personalize this practice. So we think how wonderful it would be if we were to have that level of happiness, peace, whatever. And then when a, a sort of realization really hits your mind about how wonderful it would be, when you see the truth of that statement, then just allow your mind to sink in to that feeling, to that realization, and hold it there. So we use those phrases like, may I be happy, may I be content, we use those phrases to evoke a certain feeling within the mind, but once that feeling has been generated, then we can drop the words and then rest on the feeling itself. And now after having seen how wonderful it would be if we had that level of happiness, peace, contentment, now try to sincerely wish that state for yourself. Again, you can start with the phrases, may I be happy, 
May I be content. May I be safe. May I be at peace. Whatever is in keeping with that vision that you had at the beginning when we visualized our ideal state. Again, using those words, using those phrases to evoke a feeling and then placing your mind in that feeling. can continue so visualize in front of you your mother or someone you feel very easily strong sense of loving concern it can be a friend your mother a teacher and then Alongside, you can visualize a neutral person, maybe some, someone you have met, maybe someone you see but aren't particularly close. And then also you can visualize a, a annoying person, someone who gets on your nerves, maybe someone who has uh, harmed you in a, a slight way in the past. Better not to use uh, someone who has uh, harmed you a great deal, but someone who's just slightly sort of irritating, someone in relation to whom these natural feelings of loving kindness do not arise so easily. And so now first we draw our attention to the close person, your mother, or whomever you choose. And first just reflect that just like myself, that this person equally wants to be happy and wants to avoid suffering. And now consider the ideal state you would have for them. It could slightly differ from what you envision for yourself. But just think how wonderful it would be if this person had happiness, peace, safety, security. whatever type of positive aspirations you have for them. Just think how wonderful it would be if this person was able to achieve that.
continuing on with the aspiration, thinking, may you be happy, may you be at peace, may you accept yourself for who you are, whatever positive aspirations you have for this person. Sincerely wish it for them. Again, using the words, may you be happy, or whatever words you choose for yourself, to evoke that feeling, but after that feeling is strong within the mind, then just rest your mind on that and drop the words. Now we continue with the neutral person. So considering first that they, just like us, want to be happy and want to be free from suffering. That they have their own hopes and dreams, their own lives and aspirations just like me. So now first again, thinking how wonderful it would be if this person had happiness, peace, acceptance for themselves, safety and security. Again, using the words to evoke the feeling and then resting in that feeling when it has arisen. And now to think, may this person have happiness May this person have peace, joy, contentment. Again, personalized aspirations to what is meaningful for you. continuing on with the annoying person, the difficult person, the one who gets on our nerves. First again, by considering that they just like us want to be happy.
They want to be free from suffering. They have their hopes and dreams. They have their aspirations. And yet, just like us, they also have their own struggles. So now first again thinking how wonderful it would be if this person was free, sorry, how wonderful it would be if this person had happiness, had fulfillment, had safety, had security, whatever they're looking for. And now think, may this person have happiness. May this person have joy and peace. May this person accept themselves for who they are. gradually extend this circle of metta to include all the living beings in the particular country you're in. So think, may all of these beings be happy, be safe, be at peace. And then continuing on to all the beings in this world. May all these beings have happiness, have peace, have contentment, have spiritual fulfillment. And then finally, all the living beings in the entire universe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be at peace. May all beings be healthy, safe, and secure. May all beings be happy. Okay, so gently come out of the meditation.
All right, so you've all made it 15 days of meditation. So congratulations, it's really something quite special, uh, especially in this day and age that so many of you have uh, come together and have joined these meditation sessions to try to do something uh, positive in a world that so desperately needs it. So uh, first, let's just dedicate all of the positive energy that we've generated over these past 15 days that all beings uh, that we just thought about, uh, as vast as the vastness of space, uh, have happiness, have peace, be totally free from suffering, and that all the problems that we see in the world, uh, including all the problems from disease, the environmental problems, the problems due to war, uh, disease, any kind of undesirable thing, may these instantly be quelled and stopped. And may all the people who are trying so hard to uh, progress along the spiritual path, may they have all the conducive conditions so they can quickly achieve spiritual enlightenment. Okay. So, uh, there's uh, just one tiny step on the journey that we've taken here today. But, you know, 15 days, uh, it's a good start, but now uh, I hope you're all able to maintain uh, the momentum that you've started. So, um, we wanted to advise you or welcome you to uh, sign up for the uh, WhatsApp group through Choco Simling. Look at the uh, various YouTube videos on our YouTube channel. There are many uh, great uh, teachings by Geshe Goje Damdul, Geshe Tenzin Nam Dak, and others. And uh, please sign up to the uh, mailing lists and you can get notification of the upcoming programs. We have a few things uh, upcoming, including the open heart discussions. We are hosting uh, Jetsunma Tenzin Palmo coming up. And uh, hopefully we'll also have uh, some other uh, courses, including uh, some courses on how you can further your meditation practice. But in the meantime, uh, please feel free to uh, go back and watch these videos again. Uh, if you feel you still need some uh, guided uh, meditation. And um, you can look also below in the YouTube uh, uh, kind of show notes to uh, find out uh, ways how you can uh, subscribe and also uh, contribute uh, to the upcoming uh, you know, programs and the running of the center. So uh, thank you all for your participation and support. And uh, I wish you uh, all the best in your continued uh, growth and development. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future in uh, some form or another. Until then, uh, just one last parting advice that yes, we do this meditation practice on the cushion, but the, the real practice is in our daily life. When we go out in the world and we uh, meet people, we interact with people, the point is that we uh, should try to uh, be kind, um, be generous, and uh, try to make whatever kind of contribution we can to the world. Uh, helping others where we can, or at the very least, uh, not harming others. So these uh, meditation, the uh, philosophy, everything we do, are just ways that we can uh, train our minds so that we can be of more benefit to others. Okay, so thank you very much. Namaste, and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.